Hi, and welcome to Bonehead Truckers, brought to you by TRC Freight, home of the 88% and no flip-flops. Look at this bonehead trucker. We knocked on his door. He's got his curtains closed. He's taking a nappy nap right in front of the fucking scale. Big time truck driver going to park right in front of the fucking scale. Hold up, everybody. Shame on the mess. Welcome to Bonehead Truckers. Plenty of places to park in this here lot. This old boy got to pull up so close to me. Had to roll my windows up. He's blowing that hot ass engine air right in the window. Pulled up so close, he almost took my mirror off. That'd be the inconsiderate bonehead trucker. Have a great day. Let's talk about a bonehead trucker. Melted, he's on the scale, not in his truck. Good job, Melton. Well, we got some cool field reporters this week. Hey, welcome to Tales from the Truck Stop. This is a place we sit here, sit around, and talk about and show the cool and not so cool things about the freaking truck stop. And remember, if it bleeds, it leads. I'm just saying it. So if you like this kind of garbage, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. But first, hey, if you need some fuel discounts because you know that fuel's going up, Call my man Blake up, 913-521-6875. See what he has to offer. He also has factoring available, too. Go check him out. Tell him Bonehead Trucker sent you. 10-4. Okay. All right. You ain't no dead gum truck driver, but uh, we can tell you're going the wrong way. All right. Must be a, it could be a retired Swift driver. I, I'm going with that. That sounds good. Retired Swift driver. That's the way it is. You look right here and see how this guy's all parked right there. Great parking job. What a freaking cluster. You get these people come up in here and they just park the way they want to park. They don't give a flip. They just don't. They just like, I'm here and I don't, I'm going to stay right here and I don't care what you got to say about it. I'm sorry, this is kind of fuzzy right here, but you kind of get to drift what's going to happen. Well, let's just watch and listen. Oh, that terrible crunching sound. That terrible crunching sound. Hey! That ain't supposed to how you supposed to do it there, drunk rival! What are you doing there? That ain't supposed to how you did it. And we got these guys blocking cat scales. You know how it is, you know? They're just getting worse and worse. And they ain't got no shame in their game, do they? No shame in the game. That's right. Hey, I'm going to hand it over to the field reporters. Get on them. Get on them. Well, I come here to the pilot here on I-79, Pennsylvania to get fuel and leave. And when I get out of the truck, what do I like to see on the ground? Trash, right there. Somebody was too lazy to take their trash and put it in the trash can. So, I'm going to do it, because I can't stand to see litter on the ground. Hey boys and girls, look, it's a parking spot, and it loves at 11 o'clock at night. Perfect, right? Oh, look, look, somebody left their trash out on the ground, they couldn't go another 10 feet to throw their trash away. Was it you? Was it you? Here at Love's in Missouri, there's a few parking spaces, not many. Then we got this guy. 
walking in a bunch of truckers, not parked in a spot, not in this truck, and I'm trying to leave. Out here at the Loves in Willis, Texas, this hotshot guy's been sitting here holding up this fuel pump in front of this bobtail for about 30 minutes or so. He walked off with a bag, left his truck sitting in the fuel island. There's drivers waiting to get fuel. This guy's already had a chance to get fuel and pull up. The guy pulled in behind him. I think he's almost done getting fuel. And this guy's truck's just sitting here blocking shit off, holding up the fuel island. So just an update on this hot shot guy here. He's been here for a whole about 52 minutes, roughly. Finally came out, had a subway bag, went in there and got him a sandwich and a soda water. Still sitting there, he just now finally starting to get diesel. Holding stuff up. Shame on the mess. So we're still here at the Loves and Willis. This dude has been sitting here for over an hour. He was parked at the far end fuel island over there. I went into the shop and he's sitting over here at one of the center pumps holding stuff up. He's been here for a total of about an hour and a half sitting fuel island guys go find a place to park if you got other stuff to do go find a place to park yeah gotta get his soda gotta get his soda before he pulls up gotta get him his large coke But it tastes good too. Let's see if he even fueled up yet. See my hand at work right now. We can't let nobody stop no show, right? Right. Y'all see what I did? There you go. There you go, Swifty Swift. Teach him, teach him. Hey, if you got radios or pictures you want to send to see them, Bonehead Truckers, send them to contact at boneheadtruckers.com. That's our email address. Or join our Facebook group, Sano to Bonehead Truckers. And yes, uh, if, if you come up on here and want to be a star and put yourself and you want to talky-talk on here, you can do it, okay? We enjoy our field reporters.